Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web, and in this video we're going to be painting this Panzer IV. Now, one thing I have realised is this might not be a good idea, super gluing the tank to this wooden block. Because I did it with this Panzer IV before I painted it, snapped it off. <clears throat> so, either A, don't be an idiot like me and put too much glue on the bottom, or B, find another way of doing it. Anyway, we're going to start off with the base coat of light brown. We're doing this all over the tank. Um, all of the um, tanks that I'm doing for the German army will be getting this particular treatment, shall we say. So, here we are. So, as I say, it's an all over thing. And I really should have just checked the camera because everything I'm trying to show you is off screen. Ah well, one of those things at the moment. Hopefully I'll realise very soon that I've done this again. Yes, I do. So, <laughs> yeah, so even the wheels are getting this treatment. So it's all, as I said, all over the tank. Now with the corsets of um, oh, Hit the Beach, we get a platoon of uh, Panzer IVs, which is basically three. Two of them I have already painted. This is the last one. And this is the one which has the little chappy stuck out the top. So I thought I'll do this one on camera and uh, just pra not practice, but get right what I want to get done with the other two, first of all. Now I still have trouble with on flat surfaces of the paint pooling a little so I don't know whether I'm um, making it too runny or, or what but if anybody can give me any suggestions of what I'm doing wrong then please let me know. So we're trying to get all over with this as I said, <clears throat> the Schertzen, the uh, Zimmerit everywhere gets it, the main body, everything. Try and do an even coat all over. I know there's areas of this I've missed but I'm not too worried as long as I get the majority of it. The The bits I've missed are usually between the main hull and the shirts and on the side which is difficult to get to so I'm not too worried because when well, you find out near the end um, although saying that I have done, I have already done a tank and you know once I've got the camouflage on I give it a wash so that'll hide it. <clears throat> so again just like the main body of the tank everywhere gets the uh, this light brown covering even the gun, the turret, the little um, I can't think of its name now for the uh, little canopy thing where the uh, chappy comes out of. I can't remember the name of it, but um, Coppola. Um, even that gets a blast, and obviously, the little chappy will get a blast of it as well. So, I'm just giving the um, airbrush a bit of a wipe and restocking it with um, the white brown because I've run out. <clears throat> there you go, you can see the gun's getting done, the top of it's getting done, the underneath's getting done. Just try and get inside those plates around the turrets. And now I'm just going to change over my um, airbrush and going to the one with the bigger cut because I find that does final lines when I'm doing the, um, the camouflage designs. So the first camouflage design we're going to use is mahogany and we're going to be, uh, as you can see, taking off the, taking the uh, turret off the piece of wood. Then we can um, just work on the camouflage design all the way through. And as you can see, I'm 
had a little trouble with the first blast of the brown but when you finished you know it, it's it's not too bad <clears throat> it's not as not as nice as I'd like it to have been but I'm going to use the excuse that they they were rushing to get this done in the field <laughs> and they made a bit of a mess of it but there we are that's the the mahogany done near enough a couple more pieces to do and then we're going to be changing the paint color and the paint color we'll be changing to is the same one that we did the stug with um, in the last painting video for the tanks and that is a light green we're just giving the uh, brush a bit of a rinse out now and there we go light green I don't know what the CHRM stands for but it's basically light green so I'll pop some of that in the airbrush and once again we'll use the entire um, tank together so we can get it exactly matching up to the areas so it actually looks as though it started out at some time or other uh, being painted together and we've not removed the turrets if you get me drift <coughs> it will match up at somewhere <laughs> so I'm um, trying to disguise the brown splodge with a little bit of the green but it's all done um, the hair part is yet to come and I'm still waiting for the decals to turn up so we can't really finish these tanks until the decals have turned up but we're using a little bit of black now not using all that much just a little bit and that's just going on the end of the uh, gun oh no it's not it's going on the uh, little chappy and the end of the gun <clears throat> so there we are once I've actually got the decals and I'm ready to actually finish then I'm drilling drill the barrel of the gun out <coughs> so that's it for the time being with it um, so now what we need to do is I just say give it a wash and it's uh, as you can see Amy Painters mid brown I said this is not going on. I said this one was doing the houses. Um, this wash isn't particularly going on. As I will think of washes, it's it's gone. It's going on like a very thin paint rather than a wash. I seem to be using a hell of a lot of it to get it to cover. But I really do need to order some more anyway, so I'm not sure whether it's just going off or or what but as I said we're just going all the way over the tanks with this and once this is done we'll have to wait for it to dry which won't take very long with the miracle of video editing because we're going straight into the second part where it has dried so you're not going to have to wait at all to see how we carry on with this uh, particular piece but yeah we're smothering it all in the mid brown everywhere that you're going to get the um that we've had that we've painted already rather gets a coating of this mid brown except the little chappy he's not getting one he can wait until the next bit to uh get his paint job and I'm making sure I do underneath as best as I can I'm not too bothered about actually doing the whole of the underneath um, in re as uh, you know where the block is situated um, it's in the middle of the the underneath so nobody's going to see it unless they pick it up and turn it over um, because the chances of it being overturned on the battlefield is slim to non-existent 
But there we are, that's what we have so far, and here's how it looks once it's dried. Now, we have some metallic black paint that we're going to pop into there, and we want to apply this with the brush, and this is going on the tracks. Um, I don't want anything lighter than this. Um, I've done, I did the Strug with this as well, I think. And I like the way it looks. I don't particularly think that a gun metal or anything like that is going to enhance the look of this at all. Um, I may do a little bit of a dry brushing later on with it. I'm not sure yet, but as I say, until the decals come, I can't really finish off this to the, how I want it to look. But we're doing the best as we can. Well, I'm doing my best as I can until, as I say, the decals turn up. And then once they turn up, it's all hands to the pump again to get this done. And I'm working on some of the areas of the bodywork as well. The tow rope at the back. There's a, a little axe there at the front. And a couple of other little bits and pieces on the tank that um, we can do in this particular metallic black. Just to make it stand out a little bit more. Um... I know there's, you know, it's not um, what you call prominent, but it just has, adds that little bit more interest if you do them. So it's something else to set your eye as you're looking at the model. Um, <coughs> so we're adding a bit more of the metallic black to our little, I was going to say palettes, but it's actually a little takeaway tub that we got from the Chinese when we ordered out one night and we just gave it a good wash after we'd emptied it and we use it just for paints and whatnot. Um because I'm not I'm using earth paints at the moment, um airbrush paints rather than they are already thinned, so I don't really need a wet palette for this. I just need to put it on this palette and get a blooming move on. <laughs> because it dries quite fast. But, yeah, I do like that uh, look of that metallic black paint. It is really, really nice. So, what are we going to be doing next? I think... It's the turn of the little chappy. Now, I do some jigging about here, trying to get a good angle in order to be able to show you how I painted him. I think this really is the only one I'm going to show you how I paint. I'm just going to paint them and then show you how I finish them off with basing and stuff like that because I found this very, very tricky. So, the painting is flesh with barbarian flesh and a little bit of light brown I believe yes mixed in with the barbarian flesh to take that cartooniness away from the color and I've tried to match it with as close as I can to my flesh tone so we're going over the face and the hands and this is this was not easy I was wearing my head loop and it was slipping down my face and I can't actually see, the way it's angled I can't actually see where the camera's pointing, I'm just, I was just hoping that I was going to have um, the camera in the right position and every now and again I've had to look around to see um, so it's quite uncomfortable for me, I'm not really sure how I'm going to really get these done so I think for ease um, for me, I'm just going to paint them because they're too small and fiddly. Um, so we're going to give the hat and his coat uh, going over with the black. Um, this is a really nice colour for the base coating of German uh, uniforms. Because the next colour we're going to use is one that I really think is ideal for German <laughs> uniforms. And that is the dark grey blue which we used, if you remember, for the roofs of the 
buildings that we got from TT Combat. So, now it's that done. Now we're adding a little bit more. Um, are we mixing the paint again for the flesh to give it a second coat? It's it's very watery this paint, and it's not actually um, going on well to the um, to the mini. <coughs> it is a mint. It is a plastic one. It's not a metal one like the um, flamethrowers for the armoured um, half track that I got, but it's really really nice. Now we're going to add some white into it just to add a little bit of an uh, just to have to add a little bit of a highlight. Why a word so hard sometimes? <laughs> <coughs> So we're just trying to get the right mix here and yep found it. So we're just going to touch on the fingers and the hands and any raised areas try to give it a, a little bit more of a highlighted look. Um, and I say it is tricky when the thing you're trying to look through is falling down your forehead and there's a magnifier dangling in front of your eyes and it's going lower and lower and lower um, but hey okay, we we've done worse <laughs> so we're going backwards and forwards between the flesh colour and the black uh, adding a little bit of the dark earth to the black I think just to try and give us a different tint no we're not what we're doing is we're um, <clears throat> we're painting the strap that's, hold, that's around his neck hold, um, to keep his binoculars around his neck. And the dark earth is what we're using for the highlights for the helmet and the coat. And I don't know whether you can actually see the dark earth on the coat. Yeah. The binoculars, I come back to paint with um, the metallic black and I actually I really do like this even though it's not very tricky to line up on, sorry even though it's very tricky to line up on camera um, I really enjoy painting this little fella and I'm looking forward to getting cracking with the rest of the infantry but there we are so the one thing I did keep doing, um, which was slightly irritating, was uh, having to keep going back from covering the black up because I caught the helmets when I was doing the skin. Um, but I hope we got there eventually, as you'll be able to see. I added a little bit of the light brown to the black, sorry, to the um, dark grey blue but I didn't like the look of it so I come along and add some light grey into that for give it to like an extreme highlight and it works a treat I really do hope um, you can see this so I'm just scraping off the last bit of um, blue tack that was on the bottom of the turret because I now don't need it on there and the tank for the time being is finished um, or as finished as it can get because as I say waiting for the decals to arrive I can't do much I'm just going to cover the bottom with some dark earth just as a token gesture but I'm not really bothered I'm happy with the way it looks but that's it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we're going to get the platoon, the full platoon of the um, watching we do it um, of the Panzer Fours but I just want to just give the flesh a little bit of a, a wash first of all and uh, now we're going to get a look at the three Panzer Fours but that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, stay safe and take care. God bless and bye for now.